Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the forex pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the forex markets. Well, um, as you can see, activity is not very strong because market actually is preparing for a quadruple central bank meeting, which will involve uh, all major central banks, uh, Federal Reserve, Bank of England, European Central Bank, Bank of Japan, and so on. So that just explains why we see relatively quiet type of action. And... Uh, tricky environment keep standing here is, uh, as you understand applying of the technical tools for analysis currently might be accepted only conditionally so because it's definitely the further direction will depend on uh, comments well uh, i just do not want to repeat the same thing that we already discussed in our vehicle report and what we said in the video on yesterday so one thing that i would like to say is that just if you do not have any position and you have the conservative approach, it would be better to do nothing. Uh, because market looks a bit weak, but uh, and if we wouldn't have the Fed on the horizon, in the current circumstances, probably I wouldn't take a long position here. But as you understand, everything could change in the blink of an eye if Fed will show some as expected statement. So without any new hawkish hints, in this case, Indeed, euro could turn north. But it seems that market uh, hope is hoping for bad best, but is preparing to the worst, as usual. So because, well, um, if you'll take a look at different markets, on the stock market, we see definitely some bearish uh, performance recently. So for example, on the DAX chart, you could see recently it was reversal here. On the S&P, it's also some reversal on top which also suggests some gentle approach of the investors to the common statement. They do not exclude the possible um, more hawkish rhetoric from the Fed. Additionally, on other currencies, in Australian dollar, uh, we see starting with the brand body trade here, that we discussed our Canadian dollar brand body has been completed perfectly. So you can see market has rallied almost to the top in excess of the minimum target of the brand butter. A um, few bullish moments also exist. For example, on New Zealand dollar, we could get the double repo buy if market will be able to stay here. But again, that probably will depend on also on the statement of the central banks. So this will be the same driver as for a double repo on the New Zealand dollar as for a rally on your currency if it will happen. Additionally, I would say if you will take a look at the interest rates and treasuries interest rates, you will see that yesterday we've got big sell off here. So that might be some on the very big background, on the micro background, but well, uh, in expectation of the hacker statements, usually market stands flat and preparing for the upward continuation. But this mostly supportive for uh, more risky performance on the euro currency. So whatever it will be, if you already have taken the long position on your currency, in the current situation, it makes sense to go right to the end. This will be some kind of the pain or gain situation. So you will get either everything, so it will be rally up and it's the completion of the hour 14, 114 target, or this will be miserable collapse on the euro. Hopefully, in the euro currency, we have clear points where we could place the stop. So if you remember, we are possessed mostly for a long position with a stop somewhere below the C point. It's because currently it will be in validation point. In this case, if a market will drop further here, um, market erased the ABCD pattern and also butterfly will be erased, market will drop here. So the distance to the, to the law, stop loss is not very significant, about 60 pips. So you could think about this um, scenario if you still would like to take part in it. What I do not like in the recent performance, as I said, that we should see the durability of this reaction on Friday. It was 
uh, a bit uh, some relaxed uh, reaction on the CPI numbers, which was a bit lower than the 7%. But take a look what has happened on Monday morning. Gap down and creating the new lows. It means that the closing of the shorts has happened on Friday has been used for taking the new shorts. On the new traders who have stepped in on this pullback downward continuation. So creating the new lows here, which is actually below the 50% support, it's not really a very good sign uh, on the euro currency. This is one of the reasons why I personally do not want to take the long position right now. So uh, on the hourly chart, that will be the story of the wage pattern as well. So you can see on the right arm of the butterflies forming the wedge. As you know, potentially this wedge is bullish, but as I said, everything will depend on the Fed. As you can't foresee it, can't control this, it will be some bet on the luck that maybe a Fed will be uh, flat in its statement, statement and the uh, euro will get a chance to show the rally. Well, that, that's the only reason uh, for current considering of the taking the long position. But in general, well, the wedge here is potentially bullish because it's the falling wedge and it's usually the bullish pattern. So um, that being said, guys, actually not a lot of things have, have changed since our recent discussion. If you still would like to take the part in this trade, you could, because formally we have the pattern in place. So we have the potential butterfly. Uh, it's not, it hasn't failed, so it is valid and keep chance on possible rally. So it's a different question that a lot of different bearish environments stand around it and lots of uncertainty that, uh, well, could make the impact on the on, on, on uh, probability of the success. But by letter, passion is valid. So, and if you'd like to take part, you could do this. In general, risk is not very small, very big as well. For other traders who are not sure and you are not feel very comfortable with the dealing with the Fed statement, moving trade through the statement. I would suggest that it would be better to sit on the hands and see what will happen. So that's our current view on the patterns that we have. So that's been said on euro currency. We're watching on this scenario on the New Zealand dollar. We keep an eye on the possible double repo buy patch. So currently I do not see something really available on other currencies.